Hi, in this video we're going to be talking about a Windows tweaking app you could use for free called ShutUp 10 Plus Plus. So this was originally designed for Windows 10, but it also works for Windows 11. So there's nothing to install, you just download the executable and run it. And just like with anything else you download from the internet, use it at your own risk. Okay, so when you open it you will notice there are some options that are already enabled. So these are suggested settings from the app, so you could turn them off if you don't want to use them. And then you'll see up here, if you've used it before, it'll let you know that you've made some changes and you could either accept or revert them. And another thing to keep in mind too, that they say uh, if you do certain Windows updates, it might reverse some of these. So you might want to come back here and check it again after Windows updates. Okay, so there's two tabs, current user and local machine. So let's kind of scroll through these choices real quick. So you have privacy, activity, history, and clipboard, app privacy, Microsoft Edge, new version, Microsoft Edge legacy version, which you probably won't be using, synchronization of Windows settings, Cortana, probably not using that, unless you're still on Windows 10, Windows Copilot, user behavior, Windows Explorer, which is now called File Explorer, lock screen, search taskbar miscellaneous let's go to local machine so it looks like we have pretty much the same options here maybe something like different security i don't think that was in the uh, current user some windows update settings and some miscellaneous settings all right, so before we test some of these out, let's check out some of the options up here. I'll close this out here. You could export your settings and then import them into another computer. Then once you make your changes, you could apply only the recommended settings, the green, or apply the recommended and somewhat recommended settings, the yellow, or apply all settings, and then you can undo everything, and then create a system restore point, which you should definitely do beforehand. So let's do that right now. See how that works. Okay, then you could change the grouping here. If you don't want to group by categories, uh, use blue gray buttons if you don't like that. I don't know why you'd want to do that. I like the color. Show ID of setting and description. So when you click on it here, you can see the ID. And then when you click on each one, it tells you what it's going to do as well. Let me turn off this ID here. Like so. And then, of course, you could use dark mode if you want, or change the language. And then if you want some help, you could check out the guide here. Which is not very detailed, but it's better than nothing. Okay, so let's do this for the current user rather than everything. So let's go over here. Okay, let's try disabling the sidebar and edge. So the sidebar is this guy here. And we'll try disabling saving of passwords for websites. Let's disable Copilot down here. And disable Copilot button from the taskbar. Okay, looks like that was instant there. Okay, then there's a jump list, which is this guy here. So we disable that. You can see that's gone. So some of these will apply instantly, and then some of them you'll have to apply it when you're done configuring it. Okay, so now let's just uh, apply the only recommended settings in the green here. Okay, so let's open up Edge. Now, one thing I've noticed too, see how the sidebar is still there. Some of these you need to restart Windows Explorer or the computer depending on the type of change you're making. Okay, now you can see the sidebar is gone. 
So let me just go to a website real quick that I could sign up for and then we'll try the uh, saved password option here. Okay, let's just make something up here. Okay, you can see it didn't ask me to save the password, so that worked. Okay, you can see we have Copilot missing here too. Let's see what it did for the taskbar option. And you can see Copilot is also removed from here as well, so you can't even turn it on if you wanted to. Okay, so as you can see, it did a pretty good job, but like I said, some things will apply instantly. Others will require a reboot or a restart of uh, Windows Explorer, sometimes more than once. So you might be better off just doing a reboot than trying to restart Windows Explorer. Okay, so I will put a link in the description where you could download ShutUp 10 Plus Plus and you could try it out for yourself. Just make sure you do that system restore point first. And also keep in mind too that you could undo all the changes and go back to the factory settings if needed. All right, thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe. Mm -hmm.